I don't decline products for my own health. Like I say, we have the system in place to go ahead and improve products, but I'm always going to give my extra uh, word of wisdom as well. Because there's always going to be gaps in your learning. And my goal here is to go ahead and kind of fill those gaps. Okay, no matter what, even if it is a bit of annoying now and then you got to do some extra work. I'm that guy that doesn't care that you're pissed at me. I'm that guy who cares about your well-being in terms of understanding entrepreneurship, marketing, and the systems more than you do. Now, for this product, okay, gentlemen who chose this, okay, <clears throat> this product is available in every brick and mortar store across the globe. Let me walk you guys through why there's so many freaking orders here, because this is the easiest one that we've declined, right? But it's also the one with the most orders. How is that possible, guys? Like, why? Why is that true? Okay. How is that true? What's happening here? You have Bill's auto body. You got Riley's auto body. You got Johnny's local auto hut. They're ordering in bulk from this guy's Okay, and they're stacking up. That's why you see tons of orders here. You also have big, big, big brands that have huge car brands that already established for years that are sourcing from one of the best places, cheapest sources possible to get the best margin possible. That's why we see great movement here. That's what they do. Okay, you'd be so freaking surprised how many people I found out, oh, you're ordering, you're ordering bulk, Alibaba, really? And you, you know, you're saying it's in-house, really? Okay, the thing with this, okay, it's everywhere. It's literally a chamois, there's no differentiation. Okay. And it's an item that literally, and also $2 shipping guys, keep in mind. Okay. It's just something that it's just so plain Jane. It's basically saying, Hey, like let's sell this notebook, right? Let's sell this note. It's not going to happen. Okay. This is what the link you go to when you're trying to get cheap chamois. And for some reason you have no local area. Okay. So if if this item, let's say, reconfigured the glass to where it, would, where it would refurbish your tint or make the scratches on your glass go away, or the result, like Amanda's been saying, is different, then we would go ahead and specifically have some, then we would have something to deal with here. But the fact is, I got 80 of them in my garage right now, and so does anyone who really likes to use these, okay? And they're not going to be impulse buys. I go to the store to buy this, not because, oh, I got to, I'm off, can't wash my car, haven't gotten hit with the ad yet. No, I go, I buy 80 of them from advanced auto parts and I just throw them in my garage and I keep them there for six months. And so does everyone in the car community. And someone who's not in the car community is not going to be buying like a chamois here. They're just going to go to Walmart. So this is something that is just not going to be able to be sold, especially because there's no differentiation. It's just a microfiber towel. Even though there's a good cost here, okay? It's really not that good of a cost with the shipping. It's like five bucks. You go to Advanced Auto Parts, I think you pay like nine for like a hundred of them, okay? But that's the point here, guys. So we're gonna, you know, this one obviously does not pass for obvious reasons. What about this, guys? Ignore the orders. Ignore the reviews, ignore the orders. We have Blendjet, ding, ding. Ashraf is too expensive. Jacob says definitely on trend. Trisha says, cool product, but, but have seen it everywhere. Too expensive. Hot market right now. Definitely is a hot market. Expensive, like it, juice and drink. A bit pricey, ding, ding. A ton of better looking ones in the market. Also, ding, ding. Higher perceived value. Too competitive. The price is high. I see this on TikTok a thousand times a day. <laughs> Needs a lower price. Something like this has to be branded already, right? Yeah, pricey, like the straw. I'd buy it, but I'd rather get it for a lower price, maybe around 15 bucks. Everyone is juicing, huge price. There's a lot of things going around, no margins. Blendjet has the market. I love it. Very high cost, available everywhere. Guys, amazing, amazing points in here. Look, look at this, okay? Oh, it has charger ports? Great. Does it make my juice taste better? No. Oh, it's removable? Does it, my juice taste better? No. No, oh, new battery? Does my juice taste better? No. Oh, new, new ape? No, my juice tastes the dang same. It tastes the same. If my juice tastes the same, I don't want it. And that's how you should think about everything. Think of something like this. Let's say you have um, a lamp, right? And the point of the lamp is to go ahead um, and illuminate the, the, the room for, you know, in, in UV light, right? And for whatever, you want to see like whatever germs in UV light, but for whatever reason, it, it uh, had a specific UV light that didn't work uh, in your in, um, ha in, in the house, in people's house, it only have to be used outside. If there's no difference in results from a difference in a product, there's no reason we should be able to buy it. So only if they would change the UV lighting where I could now see in the home, okay, then I would purchase an item like that. But only when there's real, real, real differentiation that affects the result. Because <laughs> guys, like a battery is definitely helpful for sure. Like 
A battery is helpful. You could tell me it's eight blade. I'm not going to look at it in, in different anyway. New, these things are helpful, guys, for sure. They're helpful, but they're not changing the result, okay? And that, that's the difference, okay? These aren't big changes, okay? No, this will not pass. There's just no differentiation, guys. And, you know, nonetheless, the, the thing is freaking $36. Holy crap. You know, like this is not selling for 60 bucks, not selling for $60, okay? So all those points aside, the price indicates all. Okay. What do we think about this? So guys, when you go golfing, it's very, very taboo to use a bunch of golf balls. So when you hit the ball, you want to go ahead and find the same ball that you hit if you could. And it's hard because if you're driving the damn thing, the golf balls are everywhere. I live on a golf course and the golfers literally suck and they hit them and they almost kill me every other day. Like, like literally within inches of my head multiple times. I don't know how it's like, I don't know how I think I signed a waiver when I moved here, but it's a, it's a big thing. People lose their golf balls and it's taboo. Okay. So low perceived value, pretty unique. Golf is a good niche. Is there a mark? Correct. Is there a market for it? That's the big question. Is there really a market for it? Let me break down the reasoning as to the dictation that I believe would be the most accurate one. I don't think this is a bad product. I do not think this is a bad product. Let's talk about the mass market of people who are golfing. Like what age range do you believe the average got like the average serious golfer who goes every weekend, right? Over 40 retired people, right? Okay. 40, 45. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's some very successful young golfers, right? I'm, I'm into golf now because my buddy Carl, right? But they're not, it's not the commonality. Okay. I'm on that freaking golf course and everyone is older than me. Everybody. Okay. I live in a golf course community. I'm the youngest person in the entire community, the entire community who owns a house here. All of these things, not only because I could see that in real time, but I've sold fishing items. I've sold golfing. I I've seen the damn market. It's going to be older individuals. Okay. It's going to be in the, and there was higher thirties. Okay. Meet the higher thirties upwards. Okay. A lot of these people, okay, that are golfing, they're set in their ways. They've been doing it every single freaking week for 20 years. They got the best clubs they got. They got their trusty left glove that they've been using the same one since they were 19, whatever, right? These people are in their ways. It could be a good product to go ahead and find golf balls, right? Why wouldn't the golfer want glasses that's gonna help them save golf balls, okay? But as I get deeper into the thought process, who's golfing? What are their age? What is their state of mind of the majority of the people that I'll be selling to? Okay, is that majority going to be my, my majority buyers? Okay, keep that in mind. All these things are important things to keep in mind, guys. Golfers who are stuck in their state of mind, who have been doing it years and years and years, because this is the majority of, remember, we're not looking for the exception. We're not selling to the exception. We're not trying to go ahead and work out some fancy way as to, why the exception to what I'm saying or the rule here would actually work. We're trying to figure out why the majority of people will buy these products, okay? Majority, we're not building for the, we're not building for the exception. We're building for the majority. And the majority of people here are golfers who are 38 to above years old. They have all the gear they need, like, like, like Narati made. They know what they're doing. Okay, they love the game. They've been doing it for 20 years and they're done. That's their time to have no one tell them what to do, right? That's where they're going out and doing what they want. They're not going to go ahead and buy something random that they don't think they know. I'm not saying you wouldn't get a few sales here and there, but I don't think you'd get enough to stay consistent. Okay, that's the ideology there. Does that make sense, guys? Because <clears throat> this, I really do like the product. I think it's useful. I think, there was, I think there was a result. I just think it's nearly impossible to get someone who's stuck in their ways like this, okay? Especially from knowing the industry of golfing, of fishing, right? It's, it's freaking, it's hard to sell fishermen a lure that is genuinely better because they've been using that same damn lure for 10 years, right? That's the same style. See, it shows, you know, the golf ball. But the thing is, most courses, you know, you're not golfing at night. I don't think it's a necessity. I like the product. I really do. And I tried to find every reason I could to approve this item. Uh, but I just can't find a reason that this is going to sell, uh, sell consistently. So we're going to go ahead and skip this particular item.